Hey everyone, good afternoon, it's me, Miss Gabby, and welcome to Cap at Home in Gold Detroit, and today we are going to be making abstract na nature, natural, nature collages, excuse me, um, and I'm really excited because this project is inspired by uh, Laura Blythman, and I'm I think I'm saying her last name correctly, but she's an Australian artist, um, and I found her work, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's so colorful and playful, and definitely um, something that's super awesome for this lovely sun, like, amazing day. Um, and if you can do this outside, um, you know, and, like, just spend any time outside today, definitely do it. It's, um, it's good for your being. That's what I always say. Outside, fresh air. But just a shout out to the Community Education Commission of Detroit uh, and our um, and General Motors. You know they are, they are our sponsors, and without them, we wouldn't be able to continue these free art tutorials. And you know you can find them online, all over Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, even on the Community Education's website. Super shout out um, for them, and it's amazing. So let's hop right in, and let me show you what you need for today's project. Um, so. <clears throat> Today I'm working at my little studio desk. Let me make sure I'm putting my phone up correctly. But so this is what we're going to be making today. So, um, you know, Laura Leibman, I will show you to hear what she's got going on. But, you know, this is like a cloud inspired landscape that I did uh, kind of like with her. So if you're taking a notice, I did kind of like these nice, cool colors with little pops of uh, plain white or pinks and things just like simple, simple things. But you see it's kind of shaped in this sphere like but um, here we have like some of her other artworks too like so this is what um you know i wanted to do ours on today like what i was really inspired by um but you can see just like even all of her like artwork is like brightly bold and beautifully colored um you know and really represents like just you know kind of this fun play on like landscapes and shapes and abstract shapes so um it's it's really fun and you know a lot of these are really great and uh, you honestly can do so many different things um with them see like i love and i love that she uses like these spheres and like you know really creates these clouds and like mountainous forms and um they're very abstract which i i really like and that gives you a lot of room to kind of uh you know play around and do whatever you Feel like so so this is like my example for today and I will come back to reference it but what we'll need today um, is we'll need some scissors um, a pencil a glue stick um, if you have a compass or something that's going to help you trace your circle for the final print like print that's awesome um, you know your watercolors or any other painting supplies it doesn't have to be watercolors it can be anything um, a water cup and some paint brushes and some paper towel um, and you'll definitely need some watercolor paper as well oops Excuse me. Um, so um, if you have like a few sheets, I've been making my like projects with like between three to four sheets of watercolor paper. Um, so if you have any of that lying around, you can definitely use normal paper too. Um, and if you have any uh, coloring materials like pens, paint, and markers or anything, um, that's what we'll be needing today. Um, also, if you have something to work on, I always work on like this um, like board here. Um, but let us just jump right in. So. Um, I kind of like, you know, watercolors and using them a lot because they have a lot of uh, kind of like these dreamlike, um, you know, look to them that we can kind of create. And with like this work inspired by Laura Blythman, I think that that works really well to this like dreamlike landscape. So um, maybe I'll turn it this way so it's just a little easier for us to look at. Yep, there we go. Okay. So since I have a lot of um, like kind of real estate to cover, I'm going to be using my larger brush and I really soaked it. You can kind of see it's already dripping with water, um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and think about, um, you know, maybe I'm going to make like a warmer toned, um, uh, you know, kind of a, a like collage of nature. So uh, I'm going to just start, go ahead with my orange and what I'm doing is just going like uh, just really um, soaking and saturating my paintbrush with my water and going ahead and putting it right into my paint. So my paint starts to get really, really wet too and it'll be nice because I'll get that nice bold color. So, um, you know, if you wanna pause and take a look at more of Laura's work, um, really kind of see maybe 
the repetition of colors that she has and maybe that's something you want to be conscious of when you're working on your project so um, I really really love this orange color um, and what maybe I kind of want to mimic is maybe like a sunset um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick maybe some pink so I'm going to just saturate my paints here and just start blending in some of this uh, lovely pink so I'm just gonna kind of create this like ombre right of color going from one end to the other. But what's great is that we're gonna cut it up anyway, so um, you could honestly try to experiment and really play and see with um, how this is all gonna look. But I'm just gonna cover this whole page with colors and, you know, um, with warm colors. And I can even saturate more here. And if I really wanna start blending, I can add some pink maybe up to here. Um, and what I want to do is maybe add a little bit of red, little red specks maybe in places, kind of, um, I'm going to rinse out my pink, grab some more red, and kind of, you see how it's kind of like starting to bleed a little, which I kind of like how that looks. It's kind of looking fun. You know, sometimes you can really surprise yourself, especially with watercolors, you can kind of start, start, ugh, start to see how they are blending together. Miss Gabby really cannot talk today. She's just too excited about her nature print. But yeah, so I'm just going to kind of like blend that together. But you can kind of see, that's what I love about watercolors, is they really start to take on like kind of like a mind of their own, you know, which is really, really pretty. So they're starting to blend. I'm trying not to move my paper too much, but um, so you want to repeat that with different colors, a wide variety with your other pieces of paper. And I'm just going to put mine off to the side so it can dry because we want it to dry and be perfect so we can use it very soon. I need to put it flat. Okay, so now that we have that, we can start um, you know, thinking about our dried pieces. So I already did a few different kinds of pages here with some different colors and um, using different watercolor techniques, but you can kind of see I stayed in the warm tones, um, definitely. I also have um, these, I already cut into strips, though they would be easier, so I just use kind of like a splatter like method here for these. So we're going to be creating the cloud, um, but I'm going to just cut them up into strips because it's just going to be easier for me to kind of handle, um, you know, to make the cloud. So I kind of stacked them together and I'm taking my scissors and just going to create these strips. Um, and you can make them big or small, up to you, depending on like how we're going to cut out the cloud. So I'm going to just pass those to the side. So uh, I'm going to put this off to the side, make sure that it's clean. It's not going to get any paint or anything anywhere. So I just want to start um, cutting out some different clouds. So I'm going to just pull some of my colors and what's really great is all your strips look different so you can really kind of play um, and see like how that's going to go. But um, what I really like about Laura's work is that you know her clouds aren't like actually like cloud shape which you know I really like you know they're just kind of like these big and beautiful like you know just like wisps of um, of colors you know and that's what I, I like and that's what I like to do with mine is so I'm gonna just start kind of putting them off to the side here so we can see what we're we're creating and how it's going so you see this one looks a little different but we can kind of like create like fun little wisps all the way to the top and you know you can kind of just create all different kinds of shapes and sizes so I want to create minimal ones here and go up there so I'm making some nice like larger ones I'm gonna put these off to the side and I'm just uh, keeping my scraps because I might want to use some of these pieces for later um, you know to really kind of create different um, layers you know to my <clears throat> my project so now I want to kind of throw in some mountains you know not just clouds but I kind of like these like mount more mountainy shapes which I did in my first one so I'm going to just kind of start stacking all these together so you see I have these quite larger pieces um, coming together so maybe I want to make some smaller ones so I'm just really moving my scissors along and kind of creating like waves for my clouds you know so here and you definitely don't need to keep that um, definitely cloud shapes all the time like through the tops and the bottoms you can kind of really play with it and keep it a straight line on the end there or just really kind of shape it to yourself 
So that's what's really cool about that. Um, is you have all the the power and everything to, um, you know, to kind of create your own world here. And that's what's great about you know abstract collages is you can really really play and make them your own. So I'm gonna kind of stay with this one here too, and kind of create like a smaller one, like little smaller mountains. So yeah, it's kind of looking like I'm really shaping them to be a little bit mountainous. So I'm gonna take this piece here. Um, this one has a lot of more pinks and yellows, which I didn't cut out um, just like yet. So I'm gonna kind of create my bottom and move kind of like a little to the top. And what's great is like if you're noticing that all of these are starting to look very similar you can kind of like trim them around and really kind of play with it um you know even trim it down even some more you know so they're kind of like these fun little blobs that are cloud like mimic clouds but definitely i'm going to keep a lot of this together so yeah so you can keep cutting out after your your pages are dry and um what's great is i have like a lot of these too that i cut out from um my first project that i can kind of keep together so I'm just going to keep all of that to the side here and next I'm going to bring out my, you can have like a drawing, um, piece of drawing paper or you know if it's um, something quite large it's going to help us kind of create the, the circle that we want. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my compass, if you have a bowl that fits on the page that's great, you're going to trace it, that's what we want, um, but if you want to make something smaller or bigger, like a compass is really great, um, usually I like to find like the middle point, but I'm just going to eyeball it because later, later I'm going to just cut out, oops, cut out my piece, so you know it doesn't have to be totally perfect, <clears throat> just so we can kind of gauge and see how we're creating our clouds in their shape. So <clears throat> this is where I'm going to start like gluing everything together. Um, I think it's kind of hard for you to see maybe, but I think it might be all right. Yeah, you can kind of see where my circle is. And like I said, it's not, it's not perfect, but if you want it to be, you can really take your time. Um, so before I usually start gluing, I like to really lay out, you know, maybe where, um, like all my little pieces are going to be, you know, so um, it's a little, f it's fun to kind of create like a little puzzle, you know, you can kind of see how it's starting to come together, um, you know, being mindful of like your placement and like how much you have, you know, maybe that's a little too big, um, you know, really kind of layering and stacking to create this like effect of, you know, these like clouds and like these mountainous clouds, right and um you know it's it's really fun and it's a beautiful like once you really start to to get along and um kind of play with it so here i'm just laying them out and um i'm not going to worry about like what's coming off the edges right now because we can trim that down later and after so <clears throat> you can definitely see how all of that's um laid out and you know if you end up needing more or needing to cut more or if you just cut everything it's perfect so I'm gonna just start uh, going ahead and gluing so I'm going to be mindful of like where I'm putting my glue just because we do need to trim and cut a lot of that but I put some glue down and I'm using my finger to apply a little pressure and voila so here I'm gonna uh, glue this one next so I'm kind of seeing where I need to glue it and I'm gonna just take my glue stick and apply some glue and kind of put it back to where I saw that and use my finger to apply pressure. So here this one flipped over a little and that's okay. I'm gonna put some glue on here and put maybe a little bit more glue. And there we go. So you can kind of see how it's starting to take some shape here. We can kind of, that one's, you know, you want to start with like the bottom most ones, gluing them down, um, you know, just so that's going to help with like the rest of the placements. Um, maybe I'll bring this one like a little bit, put some glue. Yeah, if you have like maybe a piece of scrap paper or something to help when you're gluing, um, what I'm doing is just applying pressure to all this. Um, so we know that it's going to stay. So I'm gonna leave, I think, these 
uh, not glued down as much just because I kind of like that almost 3D popping out effect. So what I'm going to do is just instead of placing glue all the way to the top of those like mountainous corners, I'm just going to take um, them down to maybe where I think that they would um, go and not glue them down all the way, right? So then these are going to be kind of um, sticking up just like a little bit here. So I'm not going to glue those down. And here we go. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of remembering my placements, right? Like I'm just using my glue um, and being mindful of where I'm putting everything. So don't forget that you don't have to worry about the circle that you've made because we're just going to be able to trim all that. So, oops, someone is getting just stuck. So yeah, if you have like a, like I said, a scrap piece of paper or something to really help, you know, um, help you glue by putting the glue on, definitely do that. You know, like the back of a page or a paper or something. So yeah, here we go. Just going to put more glue here and place that here. So this is turning out to be a fun little cloud collage. Like I love it. I actually even love it that it's going over, um, you know, a lot of the, um, the circle that I drew that we're like, you know, thinking that's where we want to cut it out, but here too. So I'm putting pressure on where I glued. So you can kind of see it needs to dry a bit because it's already starting to bend up a little. I'm going to put some on this last cloud here. It's looking beautiful. So now that I glued everything down, you can really start to gauge and notice if you know you need extra um, clouds or like pieces or anything anywhere like you know um, so I'm using like a lot of my scraps these are what's awesome about my scraps right is like that we can kind of add these pops of color like that you know we have to um, like a lot of this here right like we can kind of have and fun and layer and really kind of bring it to life which I think is amazing you know and that's a lot of fun like I can put that here even though that's like right on the edge but that's what's cool too. So yeah, but you can definitely wait for this to dry before you trim or if you want to trim now. Um, that's only something that you can think about. I'm gonna put my glue stick to the side, but I'm gonna just go ahead and bring this up a little and just start to trim it, you know, cause I didn't really necessarily glue a lot of those down. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take, you know, my, my pieces and my pages um, you know definitely maybe you should wait a little till it's um, you know a little drier but you can finish by like really kind of gluing those off like once you do um, cut them down so you can start to see like that we're just gonna follow the outline and really just trim them to where that circle is that we drew previously because I kind of like having like you know these dream like landscapes in these certain shapes so if you want to instead of maybe doing a circle you can try doing a a triangle or a rectangle so you see i'm just kind of lifting and trimming and sometimes you might just trim just a little too far but that's okay so i'm going to just follow and kind of imagine um let's see that one's okay and it's all right so you can kind of start to see how it's taking its shape on its own, so, you know, like in here we just might have to trim just a little because I didn't. Um, and how it's starting to, to shape, but you know, you can even keep like these little pieces that you trim and add like little like mountainscapes like behind other ones, which, you know, I think is a lot of fun. And with Laura's work, you know, that's I feel like a lot of, you know, great things about it is that you can kind of really take shape and play in your own way which you know like even over here um which is a lot of a lot of fun you know so even like this i can trim it let me just trim that and put it here yeah so it's it's like definitely coming together and it's a lot of fun so once it's totally dry you can um you know take your pencil um, and take your eraser and like erase the circle that we drew at the beginning just as like a template 
Um, you know, that's, that's up to you. You can leave it. You can outline it. Um, that's definitely up to you, like you're the artist. Um, but I really like that you can't really see it anymore. So now, um, you know, to finish off, you know, we can take, like I said, if you have any like drawing utensils or markers, pens or something, um, it's fun to kind of maybe just go ahead and like add some um, like little doodles, like kind of adding a little bit of, um, you know, something to them, which, you know, she kind of, if you want to draw like some faces or just like some nice little details, like. Um, like within your your drawing and that's what's great about it is it's abstract so like you know if you want to draw some like mountaintops or like some snow on your mountaintops um, you know those are really things to do and it's really nice because that's what like you know it's your your dream like abstract landscape um, you know just to, to really have fun with it and to play around so yeah and here is my first one. See, I didn't add any doodles or anything or marks to this top, my first one, but here's this one. I definitely played around a lot more with colors and really kind of making it my own here, um, adding some different textures of colors even as well. So that's what's really fun, and um, I definitely suggest you look at Laura Blythman's work. Her name and Instagram is in the description, um, and you can definitely look around and see what other things that she does and kind of creates these other, you know, big prints of, like, flowers and things like that, too. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, so now, you know, we can leave all that off to the side to dry, so that's what I'm going to do. And now, like, my favorite part is cleaning up. So if you're going to continue um, playing around with this, um, you know, abstract collaging, um, definitely keep all this. I'm going to because I want to finish some of my projects off, especially the ones that I painted for us today. Um, but a lot of these other smaller pieces maybe I don't necessarily need, and, you know, we can just toss those right away. So, um, you know, and if you got any paint or anything on your table, definitely please, like, clean that up if you have any, like, wipes or anything. Um, some paper towel and I will definitely wash and clean my brushes always wash them with soap and water and rinse out your water cup so um yeah thanks for hanging out with me today um I had a really great time and I really enjoy Laura's work and I hope you do too and if you guys followed along please send it to us um through our email or you know say hello in the comments uh we would love to hear from you love to see if you've been working and following along with us um and stay tuned for uh tomorrow Miss Van always has a great project and thanks for hanging out with me in Cabot Home in Gold Detroit um and yeah if you want to look at any other of our free uh archived you know, tutorials, they're, you know, on our Facebook, on our Instagram, and um, on YouTube. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day.